Welcome to the shortwave radio channel and uh, now let's take a big gun station WCBS New York uh, We're going to actually listen to WCBS and compare uh, Mainly the reason I'm using this one is because you know it's strong so both radios will receive them well But we can compare maybe the audio richness uh, if possible I know it's kind of tough through a microphone, but uh, the phone that I'm using is pretty good at uh, bass, a uh, bass response and treble response, so uh, maybe it will show up on the uh, recording itself. So, Ethan Field, uh, Elite Field BT Radio against the C, C Radio 2 He by C Crane on 880 kilohertz WCBS New York. So, we start with the Ethan. Elite Field BT Radio. For better learning, Jess sent parents a letter on Tuesday saying they would be switching back to all online classes for a month, starting this next Tuesday. And Mayor Eric Adams also saying he's open to possibly increasing the number of public school students being tested for COVID at school by changing the consent process to require parents to opt out. Right now, parents have to give permission for their kids to be tested for the virus the other way around. It's 10.06, and now to the latest COVID infection numbers on Long Island. The daily positivity rate is still very high here on Long Island, about 20% in Nassau and Suffolk County. Dr. Aaron Glad of Mount Sinai South Nassau Hospital tells me the majority of Long Islanders could get COVID, but the majority will also recover with no issues if they are vaccinated and boosted. Omicron is far more contagious than the previous variants and therefore in the same setting that you were in previously, whatever your risk was, if it was X, now it's going to be 5X. So that means that in the same type of settings that you were in previously, the chances are much greater that you'll be exposed. But if a person is doubly vaccinated and has a booster, the likelihood of them getting significant illness is, is very, very, very low. He says in the past they called them the chicken pox parties where people on purpose got sick to get it over over with, he absolutely does not recommend that with COVID. Well, the likelihood is that you won't have serious problems from it. There's no guarantees. And I, I would not want to intentionally get Omicron, even though I'm triply vaccinated. I'm boosted. On Long Island, Sophia Hall, WCBS News Radio 880. And in New Jersey, the case count is up and has found positive. And now let's go to the CC Radio 2E on the same signal. WCBS New York. So better moments and better days. So Christ says in care is not just a university hospital. State Health Commissioner Judy Persa Kelly is watching other facilities. We're looking at uh, keeping a close eye on Hackensack Meridian University Hospital, close eye on uh, Robert Wood Johnson. Um, University Hospital in New Brunswick. She says the problem is a crush of patients and staffers who are sick. In Teaneck, Peter Haskell, WCBS News Radio 880. Traffic and weather together in 20 seconds. There are people doing good everywhere. At WCBS 880, we call them difference makers. Along with our partners at Multiplying Good, we want to share those stories and honor that work with the Jefferson Award. Do you know a worthy group or person making a difference in your town? Share their story with us. Go to WCBS 880.com slash difference makers. WCBS News Time, 10.08. Traffic and weather together every 10 minutes on the 8th. What's going on, Kelly Dillon? An ongoing emergency road work on the northbound New England Thruway at Gun Hill Road. Two, two right lanes down. They've been down for about 15 hours now, just that left lane. Getting by in traffic at a standstill, so do avoid this spot still. We do have a crash on the eastbound Staten Island Express Lane to Victory right lane starting to slow things up a bit right now also in new jersey a crash on the northbound garden state parkway exit 137 in cranford in the right lane so that's a busy ride not too bad across the george nice and quiet still at the lincoln and holland tunnels our next traffic update at 10 18 breaking traffic news when it happens i'm kelly dillon in the wcbs traffic center and now the forecast from danielle niddle well it will be a fairly quiet night for the area despite seeing a fair amount of clouds around can see a little bit of light rain or some drizzle breaking out across far eastern parts of Long Island overnight. 37 degrees low in the city, closer to 30 degrees though for the northern and western suburbs. Tomorrow we have clouds yielding to some sunshine. The winds are going to be picking up.
And now we will go back to the Ethan Elite Field BT Radio, WCBS, New York, received on 880 kilohertz. Tomorrow night. Then for Saturday, despite seeing some sunshine, it'll stay brisk and bitterly cold. Our high 19 degrees with wind chills in the single digits. Uh, it's 41 over at LaGuardia right now. 38 degrees in Newark. Well, with that wind chill factored in, it was like 32. WCBS News Time, 1010. count now shows every single person 18 and older has now been vaccinated against COVID. We started vaccinating on December 28, 2020. And almost over a year later, we haven't stopped. That was Patterson Mayor Andre Sayre today saying the state's third largest city countered people skittish about getting the shots by using what we called an army of influencers, not the Instagram or TikTok influencers selling their ideas and sponsored items, but local athletes, pastors, the president of the local Dominican parade, people like that who have the ears of folks in neighborhoods around town. Now, he says they also made it easy with mobile COVID vaccination units riding around Patterson six days a week. Well, now that New York Senator and Majority Leader Chuck Schumer said yesterday that the Federal Transit Administration gave the MTA $6.2 billion in COVID relief money to help keep subways going, well, the MTA's acting chair and CEO Jan O'Lieber said in a statement that they're grateful. It's offsetting the, fa the, the, the incredible economic hit the MTA took because at the low point of COVID, when we had 10% of ridership, uh, when no one was riding, we kept running robust service, and we kept running pretty much close to full service right through the pandemic. And let's go back now to the uh, C Crane CC Radio 2E. Uh, I gotta say, the audio of that Ethan is really good. Look, it's officially live in New York State with mobile sports betting. Right now, you can place a bet from anywhere in New York with DraftKings Sportsbook. To add to the excitement, DraftKings is giving new customers a special offer that you don't want to miss. Bet just $5 on any playoff game and win 280 in free bets if your team is victorious. All New York customers can also get in on DraftKings Hammer the Over promotion. For every 5,000 bettors who take the over for a Saturday night's game, the point total will lower by half a point. DraftKings is safe, secure, and you can deposit and withdraw your cash whenever you want. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use code NEWSRADIO and get 56 to 1 odds on any team. Bet just $5 and win 280 in free bets if your team wins. That's promo code NEWSRADIO this week at DraftKings Sportsbook. Eligibility restrictions apply. See DraftKings.com sportsbook for full details. Must be 21 and over and physically present in New York. Gambling problem? Call 877-8-HOPE-NY or text HOPE-NY 467-369. This is a metaphor for your business's journey. Sometimes it feels like the world is throwing everything it has at you. And to succeed, you need someone to guide you through. That's what Dell Technologies Advisors do. They have the Windows PCs and tech advice to help you navigate whatever challenges you're up against and get you safely to where you want to be. Call an advisor today at 877-ASK-DELL. That's 877-ASK-DELL. A start to a simpler experience with Windows 11 Pro. Millions of people use Zoom Phone, the innovative and feature-rich cloud phone system for businesses. So this was WCBS on both radios. Both received well. Um, in deep phase, both had pretty much deep phase, but there is one noticeable difference in the deep phase, is that the C crane seems to still hold on to a very weak signal, where the fade on the Ethan, the signal just disappears. So on that, I would, uh, and that's my impression, um, I'm, I'm going to actually make another video with some comments of different little things I noticed, uh, but that uh, maybe the C-Crane is a little better on the weak signal side. Now, where the Ethan actually, for me, especially here on 880 kilohertz, beats the C-Crane, the Ethan audio is much more powerful and much more rich. It has a wider range of frequencies. It has bigger bass. And so for music listening, for example, the Ethan would be a better choice probably. 
And actually, I'm going to test that tomorrow night because I want to listen to both of them on my FM station that I listen on Friday nights that has an 80s music format. But uh, two nice radios on medium wave still. What do you guys think? Have you noticed a difference? Do you like one better than the other? Why not comment below? If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.